which a youth soccer organization in South LA is celebrating its diversity while also developing some of the country's best athletes. But it's not without adversity. In tonight's Life Connected, celebrating Black History Month, NBC 4's Darsha Phillips and photographer Haley Cook introduce us to the players and the coaches. And they are determined to change the game both on and off the field. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, ladies, let's go. Come on. Try to go across. Touch. There we go. We had an abandoned house right next door, and it burnt down, so therefore it was like kind of an empty field. Come on, let's go. When Nataka White was growing up in Compton, he didn't have access to a soccer field, proper goals, or even a coach. <laughs> But he's helping change that for hundreds of kids and teens in South Los Angeles. I've always said I'll give back to my community. Well, I started playing soccer when I was four, and I kind of just fell in love with it. <laughs> These have been my friends forever, and they're like my sisters now. Watch it cross. Good job, Titan. The American Youth Soccer Organization in South Los Angeles does a lot to keep the sport of soccer accessible and connected to its community. We keep our costs down, even even within the AYSO standards. We give scholarships out to families. <laughs> Many of these athletes have played together for years. They have heart, skill. Control the game, control the ball, get the ball in the back of the net. And grit beyond their years. Come on, left foot. When we look around, we don't see many teams like ours. AYSO South LA Region 1031 is one of the most diverse regions in the country. And while these athletes love that about their teams, on the field, they sometimes face difficult realities. They kind of come in with the mindset that we're going to be really violent, we're going to want to punch them, we're going to want to hit them, slide, tackle them, play really dirty. But we're just coming out there to play soccer. And situations that even leave their coaches speechless. They're crying in the middle of the game, and I'm like, you know, what are you crying for? And they're just like, well, you know, they just keep on calling me like a black monkey. We're really learning our place, especially in this sport and it's hard sometimes. But thankfully, their coaches, families, and teammates remind them their place is on that field. We're not getting angry about that. The best thing to do is to score. You don't have to look a certain way or act a certain way to play this sport. Score and keep on moving. Because we know the only way to change that is to put the ball in the back of the net. At the end of the game, we're going to shake their hand with a smile and note that no matter what you did and how you try to tear me down, we're still going to stay up. These athletes keep playing. And we're really here fighting to be winners, you know, and we're fighting for each other, and we're just fighting for the love of the game. Hoping to break barriers, reach goals. I want to strive to be on the women's national team. And inspire the next generation of South L.A. soccer players to reach higher and dream bigger. Outside. In South Los Angeles, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News. Oh, just a great story there. The soccer organization has about a thousand athletes in just two fields. Despite this, last year an all African American girls team won the AYSO National Championship. The organization is now petitioning the city of LA to create three additional fields to accommodate its players.